Shri Abhay Oswal was born in Ludhiana, India in 1949. He was a man of multiple interests. Not only was he a successful businessman of his time, but also a global entrepreneur, a visionary and a great philanthropist. A man who always defied the odds with his foresight, market-savvy acumen and never-give-up attitude. He built many successful business ventures from ground up. But there was one incident in his life that changed him as a person. The Orisa Cyclone in 1999. Where the Oswalds worked tirelessly to rehabilitate schools, orphanages, and provided round-the-clock food and medical care to the numerous victims of the flood. This AOT, how it came into existence, Paradeep incident, I must tell you. There was a cyclone in 2000, maybe in Paradeep. So on that day, the collector told him to go back. He said, Mr. Oswald, take your flight and go back. It is going to attack Paradeep, where the plant was situated. Then he said, no, I am not going. Whatever happens, I don't care. Because my people are here. 6,000 workers were working at that time. He made them safe first. He was very adamant. He was a very, very strong man. Very jiddi jise kehte hain. Jo ek bar bol diya to kar liya bas. Waves came 30 feet high. They broke the glasses. The cra cracks came on the glasses. Walls were cracked. And he said, we closed our eyes that we are going to die now. He said, when I opened my eyes after 10, 15 minutes, he said, again, I was alive, Aruna. You don't know, God has given me second birth and I have to repay it back. He ordered lakhs of lakhs packets of breads, jams, these food packets, water bottles, and he hired three, four helicopters and threw in the villages, the areas where nobody could reach. And government reached later. But they said these words, Hamne sabse pehla paani Oswal ka piya. With his heartfelt desire to serve humanity, Mr. Abhay Oswal and his wife laid the foundation of Aruna Abhay Oswal Trust in the year 2000. The philosophy of the trust is nurturing lives with its various activities directed towards education, healthcare, housing, eye care, and providing employment to underprivileged people towards a meaningful life. The Trust has also built 750 flats in Ludhiana to rehabilitate widows of army officers, thereby touching numerous lives. A school was built in Ludhiana in the year 1991 by the Oswals in the memory of their mother, Mata Mohandai, to provide quality education to hundreds of underprivileged children. Currently, it has 1,800 students on its rolls with an outstanding academic output. The Trust has rolled out 12 mobile medical vans with the vision to deliver free diagnostic and primary healthcare services to the poor at their doorsteps in rural India and neighboring countries. The ongoing project has so far donated well-equipped mobile medical vans to Batala, Mumbai, Gandhidham, Tanjavar, PhD Welfare Foundation, New Delhi, Nepal, Bangladesh, Baroda, Katak and Faridkot. The Trust has joined hands with Lions Club International to build state-of-the-art eye hospitals in all four corners of India. Hemodialysis machines were donated to NM Group Lions Hospital and Research Center in Bhuj, Gujarat for patient dialysis. After the demise of Mr. Oswal in the year 2016, Mrs. Oswal took up the reins of the trust and carried his vision to greater heights whereby she took the trust's work to various international destinations like the Lighthouse Project Chicago and healthcare centers in Nairobi, Kenya. The Aruna Abe Oswal Trust also runs the Bimal Vidya Vocational Training Center in Ludhiana. The center benefits scores of underprivileged women and children by providing them skill sets in sewing, 
tailoring, computers, fashion designing and beauty culture, empowering them to lead a dignified and a quality life. Distribution camps are organized periodically in old age homes and slum schools, whereby they are provided with school bags, blankets, food boxes, water tanks and water coolers under the banner of Child in Power Project, an initiative by the Indian Council for Human Relations. Mrs. Aruna Oswal is the chairperson of the ICHR and also the international director of Lions Club International, one of the most prestigious social organizations in the world. She recently released a unique postal stamp in Seychelles bearing the Lions Club logo as a part of the celebrations to commemorate the first centennial of the Lions Club International. He always used to tell me, Aruna, we have to leave some legacy for the society, for humanity. I would like to share that video clip with you, which he had spoken these lines. If you do something for the humanity, the whole world will salute you. This is what I want in my life. If you die, die with respect. And these things, I think he has proved it. Very early to go, but the vision, the dreams, he has fulfilled a lot of things. In small, this arena of his life, which God has given him. I think he has done work more than 90 years old. If you do something for the humanity, the whole world will salute you. Yeah, that's true. This is what I want in my life. When you die, you die with some respect.